Welcome to Skinny TV on YouTube once again. The Black Stars players are still performing well and they are justifying their inclusion in the national team. Yes, the league games are ongoing and some are performing so well. Others too are not really performing well and um, they are really justifying why they should be in the team. And others too are telling us why they shouldn't be part of this Black Stars team. Let's talk about all here on this channel on Black Stars News today. I've told you. After a hard day's work, just come here for all the latest news concerning the Black Stars of Ghana's team. Patrick Pfeiffer is on hot form, I tell you guys. Today, he scored yet again. This is his second goal this season and the player is very good at aerial duels. When it comes to freaky corners, crosses and those things, he's doing well. And I think Ghana, we have deficiency in that. I don't understand why he wasn't scoring in the last collapse, but hey. He is still performing well today. He was the best player in their game and I have all the details for you here on this channel. Mohamed Salisu also came face to face with the beast currently in football. That is Ellen Brout Haaland. He came face to face with him. He did his best but still Haaland has to score. Haaland is scoring anytime that he plays football and I think it is too outrageous right now. Then we will talk about other players like Inyaki Williams. He was also in action. Tariq Lamte was also in action. Mohamed Kudus was also in action today. And um, a lot that we really need to talk about. Let's talk about all this here. Before then, can they like the video? Can they give me a thumbs up after that? You subscribe if you are new here on this channel. You put on the bell for more updates here on this channel. I'll also be giving some shout outs. Just leave your comments in the comment section. And the subsequent videos, I'll be giving you a shout out as well. So let's just begin from the man in form. That is Patrick Pfeiffer. Yes, Patrick Pfeiffer today played for his side as they won by a goal to nil sc Darmstadt, yes um Darmstadt 98 won a goal to nil and he was the man who scored the only goal of the game for them he was rated 8.5 and his performance was great just some few ones then i move on to the next player so just some few ones on him he scored a goal he did not assist though but his performance was super he got a yellow card in the game and Playing 90 minutes, he made 6 clearances, 1 block in the game, 1 interception, 1 tackle, and 66 touches as a defender. Out of um, 34 passes completed, the accuracy was 65.4 for him. He did a lot, sending in about 14 long balls of his 7 were accurate, that is 50%, and other statistics that was impressive in the game for Patrick Pfeiffer. Pfeiffer is doing well, and I hope that the next callers, we are going to get this player in the Black Stars of Ghana's team. So Fiverr did well and he has to be applauded. Now Kudus Mohamed was also in action today for his club side Ayas. Ayas won by four goals to two to the team Volendem. That is the bottom table team in the Eredivisie today. Kudus played about 61 minutes. Today his performance wasn't really impressive. He did not score, he did not assist though. And um, he was substituted for Brian Bobby. Immediately, Brian Bobby came on about three minutes' time. Bobby made sure that he scored in Ayaz's game. But Kudus was rated 6.5. He did quite well, but not really impressive as well. One shot on target, one shot off target. Short block were two in the game. Two out of two dribble success in the game. Then um, he created one big chance. 26 touches and eight passes. So, that crazy was 72.7. So, Kudus also did his part for Ayas as they won by four goals to two away to Volendem who now lies bottom of the Eredivisie. Now let's move on to the next player that is Mohamed Salisu. Salisu also did well today for his club side Southampton. Still, they lost by four goals to nil at the ETR Stadium where Man City, <laughs> the Red Hot Man City, were there to welcome them. So he also performed well getting a very good rating I think one of the best in his side, but still, they have to lose. So, Saliso was rated 6.8, I think the highest in his team, but still, they lost by four goals to nil. At playing 90 minutes, he missed seven clearances, one shot block, and touches were 69. Accurate passes were um, 43, of which the percentage was 84.3%. Long balls were 11, of which four were accurate. Area doors won were two out of two. Ground doors all were wide by five out of six for Mohamed Salisu, the Black Stars defender. So he did very well, but say hey, Haaland is Haaland, and Haaland will definitely score for his team. Joseph Wallacott was also in action today. The goalkeepers, I'll come and talk about them because 
all of them are not really or uh, haven't played it yet yes joseph walakot played today his performance was great but before i came to record this video um that is saint gallen their goalkeeper lawrence atizigi was also in action and i think he's down by a goal to them so i'll come and bring you an update on them but walakot today was imposed against lincoln city he played 90 minutes he made one save and um, yes that is one big save in the game for him and he was also rated very high getting a rating of 7.2 and keeping a clean sheet the game ended goalless so Lincoln City nil Charlton nil and Joseph Wallacourt's performance was okay in this particular game so I go to Inyaki Williams who also played today for his club side at Kobe but as they traveled all the way to meet Sevilla yes and at the Ramos Sanchez Pejuan it was all well that is one all in that particular game where Atletico Bilbao has to come back and draw an equalizer through Mikel Vesga. But hey, Inyaki Williams played the full throttle of the game, but he got one of the lowest ranking um, from his club side. He played 90 minutes and he did not play any shots. No goal, no, um, um, no shot on target, but he played two shots off target. And um, short block were none. Dribble attempts were two of which none was successful. Accurate passes were 64.3% out of the three. Touches made were 30. Ground was one were three out of ten. And aerial doors were two, were two out of none. So the player also did not do enough for his club side. But hey, they picked a, a vital draw at the Ramon Sanchez Pijuan. And I think everything is going on well with the Black Star striker Inyaki Williams. Now some two more players that I'm off from here. Anton Semenya also came on on the 46 minutes to help his club side Bristol City. But hey, they still lost by some three goals to nil to Birmingham City. Before he came on, it was 2-0 and the second half they considered yet again. So Anton Semenya also got a cool rating in today's game as he played 45 minutes plus um, some few additional minutes. So out of 45 minutes, he had one shot on target. But he could not score. He was rated 6.8 by Super Score. Out of 19 touches made, his passes were 11 of which that crazy were 91.7% for the Black Stars striker. So he also came on to do his part for his club side. Now let me draw the curtains on another Black Stars player that we have to talk about him, Tariq Lamptey. He was also in action today, but he came on to do some few minutes for his club side. So the rating wasn't actually given. By his performance, I tell you, as he came on against Tottenham Hotspur, he did very well. He did very, very well. It was some few minutes, but he added some pressure. But his club side has lost for the first time in about six months at home. That is Brighton. They lost one goal to nil against Tottenham Hotspur today in the EPL. So, guys, these are some of the Black Stars players who played today. And I have all the updates here. On this channel for you some other players you know the players there are many a lot of them of which I can be calling all of them right now but these are the key blasters players who play today some are now playing and some are also yet to play as I'm, of the time recording this video the likes of Dennis or Doyle from Pond Professor and the others will be playing of which I'll bring you the updates here on this channel so let me take some few messages quickly then I am off from here now the last video I uploaded um, King Podo, King Podo, let me give shout out to you. And so Zia Daniel, yes, thank you. AJ Maxwell, thank you for being here. Agana Richard, thank you. TYT Softwares, I've seen you, thank you. Apianin, Apianin, Charlie, you're always here, thank you. Kadi himself, Charlie, respect. Nia Kotododu is here, thank you. Nia Kotododu, Richard Amankwa, thank you. Regina Afo, much love, dear. Black Flex Official, thank you for being here. Steven Ajin. Steven Ajin, thank you for being here. Albert Free, the youth, thank you. Nana Elijah Asante, or Elijah Nana Asante, thank you for being here. Samed Ako, I salute you. Bwedi Ahmed, thank you for being here. Nicholas Edu Jenfi, thank you. The writer, commentator, I've seen you as well. Foster Maunia, thank you. Ignatius Channel, Ignatius Channel, thank you. And I'm um, Steven Ajin, yes, I've mentioned already. I've seen all of you guys here. On this channel, let me know what you think about it in the comment section. Subscribe to the channel, put on the bell for more updates here on this channel. This was Kenny TV, and of course, we shall meet later. And subscribe to the channel and hit on the notification bell for more.